Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a shorter Intel video for you about Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and that's that frame rounding has been removed from the game. Thank goodness, that's something that drove me bananas on this channel trying to do in-depth and anything with the PC version. Frame rounding has apparently been fixed. This wasn't part of the official presentation. This isn't something I tested for. I just got a chance to talk to people, and I was talking about weapon balance with regards to this little engine quirk, and it was like, oh yeah, uh, we got rid of that. That's, that's done for. We don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll give you a quick TLDR for those of you that don't know what it is. Basically, the Call of Duty's base engine is a frame. A frame rendered of the game. It renders frames, and that's frames per second. Uh, kind of like in our physical universe, we have uh, base units like gravity or time or electricity. The Call of Duty engine kind of measures everything based on frames. So... Higher frames per second or lower frames per second can make your guns shoot faster, can make you jump higher or lower, run different speeds. On consoles, where the games are primarily played, it's locked at 16, it doesn't really make any difference. On PC, where people's frames per second can vary between 35 and like 200, this can make a pretty big difference. This shows up as a pretty big problem for weapon balancing. Sometimes they code a gun to shoot at like 850 rounds per minute or something like that. But due to frame rounding, it's going to drop down to 780 and it's going to perform differently than intended, which is kind of annoying. But that is gone in Black Ops 3. That has been completely removed or fixed or supposedly removed. I didn't get to test for it, but I'll take their word for it. That means no more weird balancing issues due to this. The guns are going to perform exactly and balance exactly how they're supposed to be. We don't have inconsistent rates of fire because with frame rounding if your fps varied even sometimes a couple of like for you know 58 to like 61 or 2 your gun could accelerate and then decelerate or fire you know off frames and do weird stuff like that that's gone and we also won't have useless rapid fire attachments the rapid fire attachment would be a varying degrees of usefulness depending on how the rounding was work now it's going to be a flat usefulness across the board which is a good thing and it's going to be way easier to balance the game for guns for performance and everything and i'm really happy that it's been fixed this is really good it's good news for me, I don't have to worry with it, but if this incredibly complex and weird problem has been fixed, then it makes me wonder what else has been fixed in Black Ops 3. I'm pretty optimistic about it. Guys, that's all for this video. I told you to be short. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, because I got a lot more Black Ops 3 coming. Drifter out.